if you look or take Pakistan, uh, yes, today uh, our, uh, our uh, relations are very, you know, at a formal level uh, are uh, very minimal. But why has it happened? It has happened uh, for two reasons. One, because we have put terrorism fair, square at the center of the relationship. And number two, the Pakistanis reacted uh, to our long, in my view, a long awaited something which should have been done much earlier, decision on 370. So what would the opposition want us to do? Not do 370 because it will upset Pakistan? Or talk to Pakistan ignoring that they do terrorism? Actually, that's what the opposition was doing. So if you ask me, look, foreign policy is not run as a global popularity exercise. It is run and, and uh, I mean, if you have an appeasement mentality at home, you will take it outside. So, uh, one of the points you mentioned, and again, this is the latest sort of uh, criticism against your government, points of difference, if you will, with the West is on the CAA, the Citizenship Amendment Act. The U.S. State Department has reacted to it. Uh, I think the MEA has also put out a formal statement against it. When you speak to your Western counterparts, how do you tell them that this is not uh, an, uh, a discriminatory law, that people are not being discriminated based their religion? Well, actually it isn't uh, when you speak. I have spoken. When CAA was passed, I did speak. Uh, even now, I continue speaking. And uh, there were two points I made. I actually, you know, uh, I had a meeting uh, with all our European colleagues, EU colleagues. Uh, I'd gone to Brussels uh, at that time. And I asked each one of them to look at the citizenship pathways which they have in their respective countries. And can you tell me that there is no criteria by which you will fast track a certain category? Every one of them has something. You know, it could be religion, it could be uh, historical, it could be language, it could be ethnicity. The fact is, and, and the, in the US, you know, uh, I'm on record as giving multiple examples of that. So look, this, do understand. This is not, this is an issue of correcting a certain situation of our history. And it is a question of being uh, just, of being fair uh, to those people who are caught on the wrong side of history at the time when partition happened. And who at that time whose welfare people worried about even then. So. Uh, you know, uh, and, and as I said, this is not unique. I mean, if you go around the world, uh, in different parts of the world, history has stranded people in different situations. Now, you can either be completely heartless and utterly calculating and say, well, you know, it doesn't matter, who, you know, who cares what happens. But if you look at the predicament of these people, these are stateless people uh, who are Stateless because of no fault of theirs, because political leaders of a certain era got it wrong. Somebody is righting a wrong. They are not wronging anybody. They are actually righting a situation where a wrong has been done to many people.